Alright guys, well, I have managed to acquire an code for the Skull and Bones closed beta, which they, they're very clear about that at all the, uh, the loading screens and all the signing screen stuff, that it is in fact a closed beta and things may not work properly, which, I mean, yeah. But anyway, we're going to take a look at this. This is the pirate game that um, we thought was never going to come out, it's supposed to be the separate game that was a spinoff of, what was it, Black Flag? But I guess it's finally coming out now and we can actually get our hands on it and see what it's like. Oh, well, it looks like Black Flag but with a bit of a facelift. It's the British fleet! From all hands to battle stations! Alright, so the ships just seem more detailed and decorated than Black Flag so far. Do what? Ooh, that's pretty satisfying. So they don't show you like the uh hello. Like oh that was easy. Like the uh the little prediction path that they had beforehand with the uh, cannons. We have cannons in the front, yes. Dang. I think they're trying to emulate like a machine gun or something with the volley fire. Ooh, that's a big one. And I, well, no, I, oh, that's cool, I wrecked his mass, that's neat. Hmm, that was satisfying. That's a big one. Alright, alright, I get it. Those rockets? Hi, buddy. God, you got enough flags on your ship? Jeez. It looks like it was the flagship, but come on. <laughs> Oh, now, now they're just smack-talking us in the middle of tall ship engagements. How much HP does this thing have? Okay, the rockets are pretty cool looking. It's like a fever dream, really. When ram it. It's the whole damn British fleet! Well, I don't think we can do too much about that, Chief. I don't know, but like, taking on an entire fleet doesn't seem something you can blame on the captain, you know, when they just kind of pop up out of nowhere, especially when it's in the tutorial mission. I'm about to get Amelia Earhart. That's not coconut crab soda, I guess not. Oh wow, the character model looks really nice. There's a lot you can choose from already, that's pretty nice. It kind of sucks you can't see the, the body that you're making right now, just your head. Is this going to be like my little starting boat? Yep, this be your starting ship. That's funny. Find a way to repair your Dow and sell the same end. Oh, okay, so it's not quite like, uh... Like, um... Sea of these where you can just hop out and swim to the shore. Oh, there's actually, uh... Dialogue options. So standard Ubisoft mission, go find some stuff and come back. Acquire explosive firearms, opulent rum. Hey, hey, hey. Be gone. Be gone. Be gone. Oh, I'm, he is gonna love this. There's cannons. Can I take these cannons with me? I can shoot them though. Can I just obliterate the shark? Hey, got the shark. Oh yeah, no, he's pretty, uh, he's pretty dead. My professional medical opinion. Ah, yes. The X on the map is where St. Anne is at. Now we get the title screen, eh? It's like every single... Okay, I'll say it's like every single studio but the big one in Montreal. 
one of it's like every single Ubisoft studio because they've really been dumping the resource into this, or it's just been passed around that much. And the what, like, how long has this game been in development for? Like, ten years almost. Ah, smell that salt, spice, and sin, Captain. Ah, yeah, it's the subreddit. The it's now doing the other Ubisoft thing where we run around and do a bunch of, I guess, tutorial type the stuff. Jumbo. That'll choose a shipwright to construct your first ship. Check your map to locate resource. We need Acacia. This is not what I expect to do in my pirate game. This is very, very dramatic. Okay. <laughs> Guns there. Okay. And then we can... Okay. So it looks like... Oh, that's pretty neat. You can... I'm assuming as you as you go on, you can get other weapons and stuff and place them about the ship. Attachments. Can I get like a, a, a laser sight or a, a tactical light? Rope locker. Oh, so it, so it actually does stuff. Increase acceleration to 300% when trim is activated. 5% stamina is instantly consumed to trigger this effect. Okay, that's cool. Ain't got no figurehead yet. Can paint the hull. Yep. So it's like there's a, a lot of customization that you can do. That's cool. All right, yeah, a lot more than Black Flag so far. They're just carrying their cargo on the exterior of their ship. Hi guys. Oh, come on, get it. Got to actually like properly uh, drag him in, huh? Oh, that's it. It's just the. Uh... Oh. Oh, well, you actually got to go on board and fight. That's kind of boring. Right, excuse me, sinking ship. I have more ships to uh, sink. Hi, buddy. <laughs> My bad. Oh, just ran over the poor man in his rowboat. Hello, Frenchies. That was pretty effective. Well, uh, they blew up. What is this laser beam coming off of the rose nest? Hope you took your Dramamine! Hey pal, can you stop blowing up my ships? Right, you have that one, I'm gonna go after this other guy. That's gotta get him. Yeah, there we go. Just slam their ship into the side and that that's good enough, huh? This is pretty cinematic. Oh, what is that? That's a big ship. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't know if we can handle that. Lord, calm down, Frenchies. I didn't mean it that much. How is that thing scared of us? Alright, so we need it. Bye, fellas. Have a great time. Oh, they cut us off. What? Hey, did I, did I ever tell you guys I really like your bread? There's no need for us to be enemies anymore. Oh, that's not good. Now the French take things really personal. Oh, hi. Good as 
you, are, are those sea people attacking the French now? On our behalf, I really appreciate that. They are, look at them go! But you look like shite, mate! Thank you. That's cool, you go into first person mode and... Control your ship from there. That's neat. Hello, I have some guns to bribe you with, sir. Looks like we got a situation here. Fluffy Boss 21. I like that you can see your ship just kind of chilling there. Like, it looks small when you're selling it, but I mean, it's it's a big o object, right? What I'm noticing here is that the ships have different roles. So, example, you have DPS ships, tanks, support ships, so forth and so on. That's interesting. I know you you know, it's one of the trailers and stuff. You're supposed to play with your friendos and such. It's nice to see that they have ships specialized in each role. I just stole that guy's loot. <laughs> Fire! Alright guys, so that's gonna be it for Skull and Bones. Um, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's, uh... In much better shape than I had imagined it was gonna be in, especially with all the delays. It still has a couple of problems from my point of view like the whole just loading screen in and out of the islands that's a thing and you can't board ship well, like you can board ships right but you yourself can't take your character on and fight the um, enemy crew so there's like no um, th there's no like you know hand-to-hand -hand combat it seems with your uh, with your characters just all you know from the ships which I understand the, that that but like it's just not as fun right and the combat, I like how they kind of um, revamped the Black Flag cannons. Um, I still kind of prefer the Black Flag method of just, you know, a massive broadside and all that. Oh, we actually got him there. <laughs> it's like this, like just, you know, the grabbing him with the, the harpoons or whatever you want to call it. And then, you know, oh, yep, look, you, you have... You've managed to win, right? There's no combat, right? We have to the so, yeah. I think it's a nice place to start out with. I mean, it is in beta. It's probably... Cat, why are you just knocking stuff down? The cat's just up there, just knocking everything off the top of the shelf. But yeah, no, I think, I think it'll be pretty interesting. Um, Obviously, I'd like to see more from it. I mean, this is probably the most we're going to see before the, the, uh, the game gets released, right? But I am pleasantly surprised. Uh, the sailing mechanics are fun and such. Uh, the game looks great. I mean, Ubisoft games for some reason look like clay a lot, in my opinion. But uh, this game actually looks pretty good. Especially with ray tracing on, which has been on the entire time. So guys, let me know what you guys think about Skull and Bones in the comments down below. If you plan on getting it or not. It was, which is really funny, really proper that Ubisoft, when you boot up the, uh, the open beta, the closed beta, it just throws like links in your face like hey look you can pre-order the game here you get this if you pre-order so it's like uh, god, god dang you yourself you get a little bit right and then of course you just start with all that nonsense again so guys again let me know what you think guys think in the comments down below if you enjoyed make sure to drop a like leave a comment subscribe to the channel and i hope you guys have a wonderful week i hope to catch you guys in the next one